never understand what it's like to be black in this country, but I can listen and try to take in the stories and experiences people are willing to share. Um, and this show can be a platform to start important conversations that hopefully trigger change. That's why I had to share my next guest story. Take a look. My name is Sean Drunkle, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I live in this really interesting neighborhood called 12 South. When I was a kid, my family lived all around us and I could go get ice cream at my aunt's house or a popsicle at my aunt's house or a Sunday dinner at three different houses. But as time progressed, the neighborhood changed. It's much more gentrified now, much less diverse. I've always enjoyed walking in my neighborhood, but with the killings of Ahmaud Aubrey and George Floyd, I, I was paralyzed with fear. I didn't want to see a white neighbor not recognize me and call the cops and I didn't want to be like a Maude Aubrey and get killed for walking while black. So I told my mom about my fear. She said, I'll walk with you. So we went on a walk and then I posted my feelings on a social media page. The next day I got messages from neighbors and people wanting to walk with me. The response was breathtaking. Expecting there to be maybe 10 people, but more than 60 showed up. We did a second walk and hundreds of people showed up and a third and even more people showed up. There were people in their yards cheering and clapping, going, I'll walk with you. You don't have to be afraid. I'm sorry you feel this way. Thank you for letting us know you feel this way. That first walk broke my fear. So we have Sean on the line with us along with his mom, Lynn. Hey, Sean, you there? Hi. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to talk with y'all. Thank you for joining us. Thank you Thank for having, you having us. Yes. Um, okay, so Sean, you say this fear of walking in your neighborhood had been building up for a while, right? It has. It's been um, built into my, um, into my DNA for years. And then with the killing of George Floyd and remembering like Ahmaud Aubrey getting killed, it, it just crippled me. Like being stopped in my neighborhood for walking while black and all the things that you go through as a black man in America. And... I, I'm my mom's only son, I'm my grandmother's only grandson, I'm my sister's only brother, and I refused to let my mom bury me. So if taking a walk was going to end my life, I just stopped walking. I mean, that's, a, that's an incredibly <laughs> sad statement. <laughs> um, sorry, um, it's just such a, uh, like an insane thing to not feel comfortable walking outside of your house. Um, so Lynn, I mean, I can only imagine I'm a mama. Like, how did you feel when Sean called saying he couldn't get off the porch? Well, the first night it happened, I just kind of said, okay, go to bed, um, relax, and we'll, you know, just try it again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Then the next day on Tuesday, when he said, mama, I can't get off the porch, I said, hold on. What we're not going to do is be uh, paralyzed by fear. Let me get my shoes on and we're going walking. And so we just took off and, and went walking and we, you know, cut up in the neighborhood and walked along the streets. And I just kind of, we just kidded around like we normally do. And, and he was able to get off that porch, but we didn't want that fear to paralyze him. Sean, after you posted how you were feeling on social media, um, first of all, where did you get the strength to do that? Because that's kind of a big thing to be vulnerable and, and own on social media, that fear. Um, and, and then um, people gathered to walk with you, right? So can you tell us about that? So I posted on social media, literally immediately following my walk with my mom. My mom made a post and then I posted, but I only posted on Facebook. And I was like, okay, these are my feelings. And I didn't particularly post on the neighborhood app because I didn't want it to be... Um, the last time I went on that app, it was suspicious black man walking. So literally, I heard the evil. I heard God say, "Do do it, do it anyway." And I I, I obeyed God. And literally, moment five minutes later, fifty comments. We'll walk with you. We support you. We will we'll walk with you. And it was so overwhelming. And when we showed up, me and my mom got dropped off at the place, and there were fifty or sixty people in the neighborhood. Like it was. I can't explain the feeling. I literally looked and just took off walking. Like I yeah. took off walking. It was nothing I could, I couldn't do anything. And I was like, oh my God, I went Facebook Live and I said, look at my neighbors. They have my back. And it's about connection. I think that's the thing. And, and, and that's what I think is so awesome about, you know, something you did and maybe it initially was about a fear. But what's funny is that fear turned into hope. 
And I think that that's the coolest part of it. And, and to use that fear to fuel something bigger and better and brighter. Um, hundreds of neighbors have joined together to walk with Sean. That includes my next guest who is on that very first walk. Let's say hi to Carrie, everybody. Hi, Kelly. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Um, this story is it's so moving. I'm, I've started crying at the top of the show because it's such a beautiful thing. They're happy tears. Um, but Carrie, how long have you been living in the same neighborhood as Sean and Lynn? So I moved into 12 South in 2005, so about 15 years. Um, and when I moved in, I, I picked 12 South because I love the diversity, the sidewalks, the location's amazing. And, you know, at the time there was all these cute historic bungalows. So mm -hmm. I just kind of fell in love with it. Yeah, I love that. So, Carrie, what made you decide to walk with Sean? Well, I mean, seeing his post just um, really broke my heart that anyone in our neighborhood wouldn't feel safe. Also, that I didn't know him and I've been here for 15 years. Mm. Uh, so it really wasn't a question. I think for me, um, actions speak louder than words. So it wasn't, I just needed to show up and let Sean know that I'm, my house is a safe place and um, he has always welcome to walk with me and I'll do whatever I can to make sure everybody feels safe and welcome in our neighborhood. I, I just think it's a really important story. And I know Carrie, that you have something you want to say to Sean, right? Yeah, so, um, well, Sean, I, you have inspired me. Um, I think at the end of the day, my motto has always been action speak louder than wor words and be the change you want to see in the world. And you've been that for me. Um, and so you've just inspired me to live every life, every day of my life, just making sure I get to know my neighbors, take the time. There's nothing more important than life than investing in people and community. And I really believe that your mission and just being vulnerable on next door, that could not have been easy to put yourself out there like that. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you, you've really, um, you just have a heart of gold and you've inspired me and I'm beyond blessed to call you a brother now. And uh, you're stuck with me for life. And I will spend every day of my life continuing um, to spread your mission and your heart. And, well, and speaking of y'all's mission, I mean, Sean and Carrie, so um, you're now working together to turn this into a nationwide movement, right? Do you want, Sean, you want to start? You want to tell us about that? Yeah, Carrie started a GoFundMe because I knew very early that, the, and I actually got messages from around the country from people saying, this is my neighborhood too. Will you come and walk with me? So I was like, okay, I can do it. I can't not do this. Yeah. It became like my my life call. Like I feel more sure of this than anything. So we're gonna walk in Philadelphia. We're gonna um, on the fourth of July. We're gonna walk in Cleveland. We're gonna walk in Miami. We're gonna walk in, and if anybody wants me to walk in their neighborhood, I'm gonna come walking. God has made a way, and He's gonna keep making a way for me to keep walking because I just have to follow what He told me to do. He told me to post on next door, and all of this has happened. So He's gonna make a way for me to walk. From, we're going to walk from the 4th of July till the inauguration of a walk a week if we can. And even if we, even if it's after the inauguration, we're going to keep walking until no one in this country or no one in any part of the world feels afraid to walk in their neighborhood. Yeah, you don't want them to feel like how you felt. That's under, understandable. That's, a, that's an amazing thing. So is the GoFundMe page, is it working out? It is working. Um, and it's like I get kind of freaked out because I'm like, oh, how are we going to do this? Um, it's because I'm, I'm a, a very logical person. So I'm like, um, wait, where's the money coming from? But I'm like, and no. then I go, I told me to do it. I don't care. It's going to happen. Yeah, well, the lead with a servant's heart. That's amazing. Um, well, I have some good news for y'all. Um, Nashville-based tractor supply company supports self-reliance and serves nearly 1,900 communities across the U.S. They're fulfilling your fundraising goal by donating $15,000 to hashtag <laughs> WeWalkSean. So you don't even got to worry about the money part, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know. We want, it. we want this to be a nationwide thing, too. It's such. I'm not lying. I was in tears just reading about this. I had not heard about this yet before you were going to be on this show. And I was like, oh, my God, this is the most moving thing I've ever heard and so important, more so now than ever. And, you know, you don't really know a person or a neighbor until you walk a mile in their shoes or walk with them in their shoes. And, and you'll be walking a lot of them now since we've, we've fulfilled the goal. <laughs> Oh my God, thank you so much. Thank that you, Kelly. That's amazing. 
Yeah, no, we, we, um, seriously, we are so, so excited about this and, and hopefully y'all come, you know, send us some footage of your walks and how they're working out. Um, not even that we have to air just so we know like what's going on and how we can help in any other ways. Um, yeah. because this is a really inspiring thing you're doing. Um, so thank you so much, Sean, Lynn and Carrie. <laughs> You're all so inspiring. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.